Hey guys, welcome to Balanika. I'm Tushar Vishnagra, and uh, yes, today we are going to talk about the books that you should be reading in first year MBBS. Okay, so we are just going to talk about the books that we have, and uh, based on that, you have to decide which book you are going to read. Okay, so let's start. I know that it's been a long since we have uploaded a video, so yes, we are here with a new one, and uh, okay, bye. There are those side. Today's topic is the books that you should be reading or uh, the books regarding MBBS first year. Okay, so what are the books? And uh, firstly, what are the subjects? Okay, so talking about the subjects, there are three subjects mainly: anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. Okay, so in anatomy, we uh, we have uh, five more subjects in it. Okay, so which are uh, gross anatomy, the biggest one, then the histology, embryology, genetics, and general anatomy. Okay, so these are the five sub subjects in the anatomy, and uh, then. Physiology and biochemistry. Okay, so let us talk one by one about the books that we have based on the subjects. Okay, so firstly, talking about the gross anatomy. Gross anatomy is uh, the biggest one, the most important one, and uh, yes, uh, which you should be and you are going to read the most. Okay, so the you can say high standard book in it is the Gray's Anatomy. Okay, so Gray's Anatomy has a uh, uh, it's a good book definitely and uh, it's a uh, big and uh, if you read it whole it may take much of your time so yes it is a high standard book i would uh, recommend you to read for just uh, uh, to clear topics okay so certain topics if you are not clear with the uh, books you are reading so you can just refer to that book okay so nextly coming there are two books and uh, two authors of the books that we have and uh, that is uh, bd chorasia and uh, the second one is vishram singh okay so both are more or less it is uh, almost same i would say that uh, there are certain differences between the, this two and uh, what are the differences i that i personally found so firstly the diagrams okay so diagrams which are uh, very well given and uh, they are uh, much of easier part in vishram singh okay so easier you can just uh, see it and uh, can draw it okay so the diagrams part is uh, well given in vishram singh and uh, also and yes in bd chorasia there are tabular forms of the muscles okay so the muscles origin insertion now supply and actions they are uh, very well given in a tabular form okay so it is also given in vishram singh but uh, more in uh, bdc it was uh, well given in a tabular form and uh, content wise i would say that uh, both have almost equal content but uh, uh, in vishram singh you would find more of the clinical aspects okay so more clinical anatomy is uh, given in vishram singh okay so which is uh, slightly less in uh, bd chorasia and uh, yes these are absolutely my opinion and uh, you can uh, decide which book you should be reading and uh, yes i would suggest that uh, you should uh, read little part of uh, each book and uh, then you should be deciding which book you are going to read okay so and then uh, talking about histology okay? There is a book in histology and it is uh, called as Indrabir Singh and the author is Indrabir Singh, Sir Indrabir Singh and uh, yes, so that is the book. Then uh, coming about uh, the, yes, in uh, histology, I would say that uh, you uh, should more go on the diagram part, okay? So that if you, if you understand the diagram and what is given in it, you can easily describe it, okay? So it is, uh, you, I'm telling you about the exam perspective, okay? So uh, you should be focusing more on the diagram part and uh, it is all that we have in histology okay so diagrams are must and uh, yes remember that anatomy is about morphology of the structures okay morphological part okay more of morphology so you have to uh, be good in diagrams okay so you have to practice more and more of your diagram that is all what i am saying okay so then talking about embryology and embryology i would suggest uh, two books i have uh, where, which I have read partly of uh, both of the books that is Indrabir Singh and uh, Vishram Singh okay so Indrabir Singh is good but Vishram Singh I found out many more diagrams and uh, definitely the, uh, the diagram part is taken edge by Vishram Singh okay and Vishram Singh it is a very good diagrams okay so then uh, talking about uh, the genetics okay genetics uh, I think uh, one book which is called as SD Gangane and that is uh, enough to okay correct genetics okay then uh, talking about the uh, general anatomy there is also one standard book which is used in general anatomy which is bd choresia's general anatomy okay so you can just uh, read that only okay that is sufficient okay then uh, talking about the physiology part okay so physiology the books which is the high standard book okay so that is enough and that is a uh, and hall okay. yes guyton and hall uh, is a good book and then uh, talking about uh, the next book is genong okay so genong is also a high standard book if you read it it is uh, more than sufficient for physiology okay so but i would say that if you read it 
so for exam perspective you have to read another books because the answers are not uh, you it is not given like that you make answers and uh, write it in exams so for exams perspective i would say that there are other books okay so which are ekgen firstly which i personally read it and uh, yes it is a good book definitely and then uh, the hindu qurana hindu qurana is also a very good book okay so and uh, yes this two books uh, either uh, you you read it for exams okay so these are the you know you that exam wala books these are the exam books okay so there is one more book which is called as case sambulingam in physiology okay so it is a uh, also a good book but if you read it uh, almost a month or two months before exam you would uh, definitely able to complete it and also pass kara dega bhi aapko theek hai some topics in uh, which are given in sambulingam are uh, very well given okay so the language for it is very easy to understand okay so which are not given even in ekgen and in dukuran i would say okay so i have read some topics okay so from uh, case sambulingam also so i know that some topics are very well explained okay so you can refer to it from that also okay so some topics i would say that uh, they are very well given then uh, talking about biochemistry okay biochemistry we have uh, a standard high standard book which uh, if you read it it is more than enough for biochemistry okay so it is harpers and uh, harpers and then lipincott okay so these are the books high standard books i would say for uh, biochemistry and uh, the book which i read is vasudevan okay so vasudevan is also a very good book and uh, yes you can refer see it is a thing that we can refer you can refer from the high standard books certain topics if you want to go go in depth of that uh, topic you can uh, refer to the high standard books also okay so uh, the book i read for my exams i would say it is vasudevan okay so vasudevan is also a good book and uh, the other book i would say which is uh, also read by many of the um, medical students is uh, satyanarayan okay so there uh, the language and the presentation is uh, uh, very well in satyanarayan i would say it is it is very sufficient and very good in vasudevan also but uh, yes both books are equally uh, contented and then uh, you can uh, take any of it then uh, talking about uh, yes okay so one thing i forgot it is the practicals okay practicals in physiology practicals in physiology i would uh, suggest you to first read your lab manuals okay so which is offered from your colleges okay so first read it and then uh, if you want to add on it i would say that ekgen ekgen practical manual is good okay and uh, gk pals also lab manual are uh, yeah. practical of physiology is good then uh, yes uh, in uh, biochemistry i would say that uh, first complete your lab manuals okay so the uh, lab journals which are given from your colleges first read it and if you want to add it you there are books and uh, there are journals in uh, uh, internet you can take any of it okay so but first i would say that physiology and in, uh, in uh, mainly in biochemistry i would suggest you to first uh, complete your journals okay first read your lab manuals they are mostly sufficient for the practicals part okay of biochemistry uh, in my case i uh, only read that uh, lab manual okay so i didn't uh, i i would have uh, gone for pdfs of uh, some of the books but uh, personally the only book i would read for uh, practical of biochemistry is uh, the lab manual it was sufficient okay so this was uh, about the books that uh, i would recommend you to read and uh, yes definitely it has to be your own decision which book sets you okay so it is not like that of, uh, which book i recommended might suit you okay so first you have to read it and then uh, under- try to understand it and uh, whichever book suits you you have to take it okay so in mbbs you know the content is near it is like unnis business or that okay so it is like 1920 and uh, more or less it is same okay so which book sets you and which books content you are able to retain is the main thing okay so whichever book suits you take it and yes all the best and uh, and uh, yes if you like our effort as usual please do like it share it please write it in the comment box and yes subscribe to karna hi hai bhai